Demons and a dead baker. Haunting case. Haunting case. I'm going to need a hand here. Wards, you're on your own. Something has me. Wards. Possession incoming! We island kiss for you. for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Red, I can't manifest anymore.
Once I've bruised the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Take care. The place is warded. Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. Sorry, not this time. concealed. The heart's yours. The roots are mine.
and cold. Feel a draft from the invisible. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher.
With Cottle dead, the governor gave the keys to the bakery to Lucy Barrow. Reason enough for Cottle's ghost to linger. This place reminds me of Mother Lawrence's over on Cheapside. And how the old ale wife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend, and I needed one. Didn't Lucy say all her crops had failed? Not all, it would seem. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. Oh, look at that. It's the drunkard's jackpot. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Lucy Barrow's back in the ale business. And good health to her. Quite the collection. Well labelled too. Lucy Barrows is better organised than my mother.
Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. about to shoot. Watch out. Spectre position. before it possesses the corpse. Don't just stand there. Move! Some demons. Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. Sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. Folk need bread. What do you use in place of the barley, Lucy? Mistress Barrow, please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Be gone. You. You're evil. 
You could feed us, but you would have a starve. I'll denounce you. I'll name you to the governor. Devil worshipper! Witch! Out. Now. Someone wasn't pleased to be pushed aside. Do they not have a deal to share the crop? That's not reason enough to accuse someone of witchcraft. So, what do we have here? Pretty berries. That's pokeweed. It's deadly. That's quite the sale. She was lucky. Unmarried alewives don't usually have it so easy. Those concoctions sure are inventive. She knows her trade. I know brewers. And this one is talented. Check what was hiding under that ivy.
Lucy Barrow is quite the force of nature. As a widowed alewife amongst witch-hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Well thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. I'm not surprised. She seemed confident and commanding. A woman after my own heart. What did Lucy say Perry Cotto died of? She didn't. Demons and a dead baker. Haunting case. Haunting case. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick.
Trust me, you don't want a garden. Possession incoming. Get the hell out of there! Demons. Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. Something's nearby. Where is it? Opens. Banisher rule number three. Take key, find lock later. Quite the collection. Well labeled too. Lucy Barrows is better organized than my mother. Ooh, look at that. It's the drunk of jackpot. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Lucy Barrow's back in the hill business. And good health to her. Didn't Lucy say all her crops had failed? Not all, it would seem. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. use in place of the barley Lucy Mistress Barrow please I beseech you tell me no be gone you you're evil you could feed us but you would have a starve I'll denounce you I'll name you to the governor devil worshipper witch out now Someone wasn't pleased to be pushed aside. Do they not have a deal to share the crop? That's not reason enough to accuse someone of witchcraft. This place reminds me of Mother Lars' is over on Cheapside. Wonder how the old air wife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend, and I needed one. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Hiding under that ivy. Mm. 
That's quite the sale. She was lucky. Unmarried alewives don't usually have it so easy. Those concoctions sure are inventive. She knows her trade. I know brewers. And this one is talented. Lucy Barrow is quite the force of nature. As a widowed alewife amongst witch-hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Well thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. I'm not surprised. She seemed confident and commanding. A woman after my own heart. What did Lucy say Perry Cottle died of? She didn't. Pretty berries. That's pokeweed. It's deadly. We've learned much of Lucy Barrow, but all we know of Perry Cottle is that he was angry, and then he died. Let's dig into his story. His mill can't be far. By the fields, perhaps, down river from here. Watch out! Spectre possession! Hugging all the fun! What happened here? You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots.
weed. Key we found doesn't fit this door. Addendum to Banisher Rule Number Five. Too many keys are a pain to carry around. Who oh, there? No? Still no ghost? I don't think Gotha was doing any bacon at all, with or without herbs. Cobwebs on empty barley bags. He ran out some time ago. Poor Cotto must have been really desperate. We didn't learn much. I suppose we should try his bakery. Good day, Mr. Cotto. Good to see you again, despite the circumstances. This is Antea Duarte. She's a banisher, too. Why are you here? We're here to help. We spoke with Lucy Barrow. Are you the ghost that assailed her in the alehouse? I am. I'm a stopper. I must expose her. You were a wee bit more charming when you were alive. What did she do to you? She poisoned me, the witch. She poisoned me, and if she's not stopped, she'll poison everyone else too. When you call Lucy Barrow a witch, are you overstating for effect, or do you mean it? Books in strange and foreign lettering, strange herbs, and stranger beer. The woman has a cauldron. Oh, for the love of all that's holy! None will speak for her, for none know her. This is because she is a witch. Let me state this clearly for you. Because of ignorant, hysterical, gossip-mongering men like you, innocent women die. I advise you to watch your damned mouth, sir. I know what I saw. What's your relationship to Lucy Barrow? We traded. We were... Cooperators, or so I thought. The day I needed help, and she denied it, I learned that we were rivals. What do you mean by cooperators? We shared the barley field. It was good business. But when the crop failed, she cut me out, sliced straight down the middle. Tell me about the poisoning. The alewife witch picked plants for her brewing. I watched her do it. I took them for flour from a bread. She must have seen me do it. She saw me do it and poisoned my flour. You said you picked herbs yourself, Mr. Cottle. 
I know the difference between aromatic plants and <laughs> whatever the witch uses. Thank you very much. Look, she wished to bake bread. She had ambition, and I was in her way. And that's not all. Here, we mill barley for our flour, and for some time now, there's been none. When the alewife found a substitute, oh, I thought we were saved. I asked her for it, but she wanted payment. Payment? Folks are starving, and she wanted payment. Wouldn't you have done the same if your positions were reversed? What? Of course not! Good people are starving! How, how dare you? The witch must pay her rent, and you must be the landlord. Denounce her to the governor, that a lowly baker may see justice done! No denunciation without proof, and no guarantees even with it. Then go to the bakery, for that's where she killed me. You'll see. We'll take our leave of you. Do what you know you must. Denounce the witch. So... So Perry not only accuses Lucy of poisoning him, but also of being a terrible, selfish person. She was expanding. He was in the way. Still, seems excessive. To the bakery, then. This isn't over yet. They brought more friends. concealed. There's an angry spectre nearby. Summon it before it ambushes us. Reveal yourself! Again, close your bastard! Make a run for 
it! I done it. Look to me. Running away, are we? It's about to strike. Stronger now. Brace yourself. Standing by.
Is it just me or? I felt it too.
right here, you know. I'm right here, you know. Devil take it! Could ever come some book burning. Why is the alewife here? Mistress Barrow, can I help you? Mr. McRaith, did you take care of the demons? I did. Then you've helped plenty. Thank you now. Goodbye. N uh, not so fast, Mistress Barrow. I'm looking into the death of the baker. I I'll need to search the bakery. The bakery is mine, and I have not granted you permission. After Cottle died, the governor made me the baker. I would already be at work, had I not misplaced the key. Perry Cottle tells me you poisoned them. You talked to him? He's dead, but you talked to him? Such talent! Did your talent tell you he was talking nonsense? Why would I poison Perry Cottle? He thinks you were going into the bakery business and wanted to eliminate the competition. By the looks of it, that seems to hold some truth. I am confident enough in my skills to not kill the competition. That would be against my principle. Worse, it would be stupid. And if his ghost can't see it, He's as stupid dead as he was living. I found your key in the alehouse, hidden away by a spectral web. The work of Perry's ghost. He was obviously trying to make sure he wouldn't get to his bakery. Spectral what? Look, the bakery lies empty. Folk need bread. I intend to meet their need. With or without Cottle's bloody ghost's approval. Do you bake? Only in the sun when I forget my hat. Bread is simple enough. All you need is a little patience, a lot of work and flour. And I have all three. Cottle did not. And that vexed him greatly. You didn't share it. If they'd paid for it, I would have shared it. None made the offer, including Perry Cottle. I knew he was spying on me, so I led him to believe that I was using common weeds in place of the barley. 
I'm starting to like her. You were stockpiling herbs. Now a man shows up dead. Interesting. Many men have used that tone with me, Mr. McGraith. And accused me of far worse. Nevertheless, I'll, I'll need to look inside the bakery now. With your permission, of course. You have the key. Do what you must. I'll take my leave of you for now. Be quick about it. I have a business to run. Petty's plant gatherings. He really had no idea what he was doing. Use an act of desperation. Perry stalked Lucy, then stole her secret ingredient. Pokeweed. With which he then poisoned himself. Desperate to find the right herb, he made a mistake. Was this pure bad luck? Seen better days? I know the feeling. This plant, it's Vaitolaka. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Baker from baking his bread. Lucy Barrow, you horrible little witch. to go. Poor son. Hunger drives folk to acts of desperation.
Are you done, Mr. McGrath? I wish to fire up the oven so that we may have bread. Touch my oven and I shall push you into it. Perry Cottle? You'll not get away with it. Alewife, poisoner, witch. What the hell is he talking about? What is going on here? Mr. Cotto, while trying to guess at Lucy's secret ingredient, you poisoned yourself. Phytolaca. Highly toxic. What? No! That, that is not possible! Not just possible. Not even just likely. I'd say it was inevitable. No, I... Well, I thought... Well, that proves it. She did it on purpose. She picked pokeweed on purpose! What do you say to that, Mistress Barrow? I'm a woman. No husband. A business of my own. Means. Brains. And I dared to say no to a man. This man. I have all sorts of poisonous plants. I'm a herbalist and an alewife. I make things. If Perry Cottle, in his ignorance, tried to do the same, then that is on him. Lucy Barrow, under the pretext of a demand for fair payment, you hoarded a valuable recipe. That's right. You'd have starved us for the sake of your business. You denied the children of God their daily bread. For business, Lucy. For business. Our Lord called you to give service to his flock. And you demanded payment. Let the alewife speak, Mr. Cotto. If the Lord wished the fruits of my labour, then he should have paid me like anyone else. I worked hard for where I am today. I deserve to succeed. I worked my arse off for it, and you would have me give it away. Not a chance. Perry Cottle, in your harassment of the alewife, you were relentless. I don't, I don't believe a word she says, and neither should you. She knew I'd uncover her secret, so she killed me with magic. Are you really going to let me stand here, suffering this idiot's harassment from beyond the grave? For the last time, I am the bloody alewife! You heard her? She admits it! She dares to say it out loud! She is the bloody alewife! She's a witch! She's a witch, and she must be stopped! Let's put an end to this, shall we? Baker Perry Cottle, you are mistaken. The alewife Lucy Barrow is not responsible for your death. You were a godly man. You wished to bake your bread. You cared about your work. I care about mine. Please, tell me how to bake your bread. People must eat. I... Perhaps... Perhaps the Lord wishes it. The people must have their daily bread. That's the spirit. Perhaps they'll call it after you. The cottle loaf. You may have the recipe. I'm not sure if I should believe you, but the ways of the Lord are inscrutable. Spoken with grace. Carry that with you. Farewell. I'll get on with it, if you don't mind. Good day to you. Perhaps I treated him...
Ashley. Oh well. I have bread to bake. I suspect Mistress Barrow may change her ways. Learning can be a painful business. This be. Mr. Law. Everything all right there, friend? I've seen a ghost. Take your time. Now, let me know how I can help you. I'll be all right, Mr. McGrath. Don't waste your time worrying. This road is dangerous and you're shaking like a leaf in autumn. What are you doing out here? Mistress Phoebe Walcott had an urgent delivery and I set out to make it. I should have known better and stayed in the store. I am often stricken with anxious deliriums. But Phoebe is elsewhere, so I must take the road. That is how you find me here, an old fool all shook up. These anxious deliriums, the fits of worry, are they new? No, sir. They are not new. I've had them a very long time. Long before the curse. Before I came to New Eden. And before I came to work for Mistress Walcott. What frightened you so? It was not a ghost, Banisher. Very well. So what did scare you? A liquor bottle appeared among my affairs, as if out of nowhere. And it is not the first time. It's not mine, for I do not drink. It's not Mistress Walcott's, because she would not part with it. 
I didn't pack it. So why is it there? Because a ghost put it there. Not the first time, you say? No. The bottles have appeared in my room above Phoebe's store. More recently in her house across the way. Would you like me to walk you back? Uh, no. My bride would be hurt. Don't wait for me. I'll catch my breath here and make my own way home. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. A few bottles of liquor turn up and the man shakes like a leaf? Ishmael could have lost it about almost anything. The last feather breaks the horse's back. We may need to return to Ishmael at Mistress Walcott's store. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. I'm at your side again. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Covenant Beach. What's that? The key was hidden recently, but before Ishmael placed a ghost ward in his lodgings. I don't like sand. It's everywhere. Did he play for fun or for money? Ishmael and his wife were indentured servants, and she died because of a drunkard. That may explain why he hates liquor and never drinks. Ishmael claims he's not haunted. 
But he takes steps to protect himself from ghosts. I think we're done here. Let's investigate Phoebe's house. Phoebe seems a little too cheerful for the governor's liking. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or Phoebe's getting worse. For Constance, Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work. How do you name a painting before starting it? Sand. Ishmael was here too. Covenant Beach? Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. The key we found must open that warehouse. If there's more to find, it isn't here. Let's see if Ishmael is back on his feet. This smells right. Bottles do keep appearing out of nowhere. Was that you I heard screaming just now? I... I had something of a fright. An old fool's mind playing tricks on him. And that is all. I'm guessing the bottles moved. Seemingly by themselves, I'm right, aren't I? They can't have done. Bottles don't move by themselves. I must be going mad. Yes. That is it. I'm going mad. You're not mad. A ghost haunts this store. But... I... Which? Oh no. <laughs> Take a breath. I don't know whose ghost it is. And I don't know why they're here, but I will find out. You installed a ghost ward in your room. Were you expecting a ghost? No, of course not. I wish to. I wish to ward off evil. The governor being no longer in authority, the Harrows is weak. I thought a ghost ward wise. Perhaps. But take my advice. Keep it hidden from the mob.
What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Phoebe had her warehouse there. Once it was the center of her world. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I'm sure your questions make sense to you. But you'll not find the answers stuck to my boots. If you need a reason for a haunting here, look to the drunken owner. Look to Mistress Walcott. What can you tell me about Mistress Walcott? Speaking as a banisher, her house is a worry. It is Phoebe who's haunted? Ah, that is unsurprising. She took me on when no one else would, and she gave me friendship, and I am grateful for both, but she is a sinner. And also a pain in the behind. <laughs> Where might I find her? I do not know. When she drinks too much, she vanishes, leaving me to run the business alone. Are you not worried? It's my nature to worry, and she is a worrisome woman. I never stop worrying. But she usually returns in her own good time. Something may have happened to Phoebe Walcott. When or how did the phenomenon begin? I can't say for sure. Bottles have always disappeared from time to time. But that was Phoebe being Phoebe. The bottles falling from the shelves is one thing. But them appearing out of nowhere, right by me. That is no accident. The ghost is offering you a drink? You thought of accepting? That is not funny, sir. Liquor brings out the worst in human nature. Mistress Walcott's conduct is outrageous, but she only hurts herself. And on occasion, my feelings. If her behavior revolts him so, why does he not leave? You mind if I check the store now? I do not. And if Phoebe minds, she'll not hesitate to tell you herself. Right. Best put these bottles away. Again. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. The ghost communicates through the thing Ishmael hates most. Liquor. An awkward approach, I suppose. sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. Ishmael said he tidied up, so who's made the mess? So, Covenant Beach Warehouse was abandoned. Then why would a ghost hide the key? Hmm, nice abacus. Imagine trying to use one of those after a bottle of rot gut. Miss Walcott, did Mistress Barrow pay for her candles? What? Oh, I traded them candles for ale. This is no way to run a business. Don't be mad, Ishmael. Come, have a drink. You never change, Mistress Walcott, and it shall be the death of you. 
I'm afraid that echo proves that Phoebe Walcott is our ghost. The ghost of Phoebe Walcott haunts her own house. I wonder what she kept in her warehouse. 